Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about transport media, which are used for transporting the specimen. In this video, we will discuss about what is transport media, why we use this transport media, that is what is the objective of using the transport media. Last of all, we will discuss about some examples of transport media. So let's start. First of all, we will discuss about what is transport media. Transport media are balanced buffered medium containing carbohydrates, peptones and other nutrients. It excludes the growth factors which is essential for the growth of microorganism. This transport media provides the controlled environment and preserve the viability of bacteria during transport without allowing their multiplication. So the transport media provides such a controlled environment that preserve viability of the bacteria or microorganism during the transport. But it also controls the multiplication. So the selection of transport media may vary depending on the type of the microorganisms suspected. So, for different suspected microorganisms, the transport media is different. However, transport media are classified based on their physical state, such as liquid or semi-solid, and utility as viral or bacterial transport media. So, uh, the transport media for bacteria and uh, for the transport media and virus will be different. Next, what is the objective of using transport media? The primary objective of using transport medium is to maintain the specimen as near its original state as possible. The transport medium aims to preserve the specimens and minimize bacterial overgrowth from the time of collection to the processing. When delay is expected during the transportation of the specimen from the site of collection to the laboratory where the specimen or sample to be tested. Last of all, this transport media is used for transporting the specimen containing the delicate microorganism. In short, that transport media what we use because this transport media we use when we collect the specimen and we need to transport the specimen to the transporting lab. And this transporting lab is not very uh, near from the site of the collection where the sample is then collected. In that case, the sample has to be transported and it takes a time. During this time, the, uh, uh, the uh, viability of microorganism may be changed or the, uh, they will be multiplied. So the concentration present in the specimen or uh, sample may be different due to multiplication or they may be die. So in that case transport media is used which maintain the viability but control the overgrowth of the microorganisms. Even this transport media is used to transporting the specimen that contain the delicate microorganism. Now let's discuss about some examples of transport media. The first example is carry bear medium. It is semi-solid white colored transport medium. It is used for transportation and preservation of clinical specimen such as tool sample or rectal swab. This medium has demonstrated its effectiveness in the recovery of various microorganisms like Salmonella, Shigella, Vibrio, Campylobacterium. Next example is Stewart's medium. This medium is commonly used for transporting the specimen suspected of having gonococci. It is also used for transporting throat, wound, skin swabs that contain the fastidious microorganisms. Third example is alkaline peptin water that is used for transportation of Quivria cholerae only when the CB medium that is Caribbean medium is unavailable and subculture can be done within 6 hours of the sample collection. 
Fourth example is the VTM that is viral transport medium. It is used for transporting oculary respiratory or tissue swabs. VTM is solution that is used to preserve the virus specimen after collection so that they can be transported and analyzed in the laboratory at a later time. Unless stored in ultra low temperature freezer or in liquid nitrogen, virus samples and especially the RNA virus samples are prone to degradation. However, such cooling e equipment is seldom available in the field due to their cumbersome size, weight and in the cases of freezers and high energy consumption. Hence, there is a need of for VTM, a chemical preservative that can be used at ambient temperature. The chemical components may include saline solution, phosphate buffer saline or fetal bovine serum. The VTM must be sterile to avoid introducing contamination to the specimen. The fixed example is anaerobic transport medium. It is a mineral salt based semi-solid media with reducing agent that is designed as a holding medium for maintaining the viability of anaerobic bacteria. It contains buffered mineral salts, semi-solid media with sodium thiogalacrylate and cysteine that is added to provide the reducing environment. The reducing agent that is sodium thioglycolate cysteine are added that provide the reduced environment. Resarturin may also be added as a redox indicator to reveal exposure to oxygen by turning pink. It provides an environment that maintains my, most microorganisms viability without significant multiplications and allows for dilution inhibitor present in the clinical material. Examples include Example is Pike's medium. This media is used for transporting streptococci from the throat specimen. So the Pike's medium is used for transporting streptococci from the throat specimen. Seventh example is Amias transport media. It is a charcoal containing transport media that prolongs the viability of pathogen used to transport the swab specimen. Eighth example is bile pepton transport media. This media is used for transporting video colloidy in stool sample. This is all about the transport media. Thank you.